What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here's reaction. Let me talk about Joker 2 in this video here again today. So one of our very first, I guess, new developments or reports that have come out are suggesting that Lady Gaga is in early talks to star opposite Joaquin Phoenix, who hasn't actually officially signed on to return as Arthur Fleck Joker yet for this sequel from Todd Phillips. Uh, she is apparently in early talks to star alongside him as Harley Quinn. So the other thing that I have saw, I guess, from the reports, this is coming from Hollywood Reporter that I'm getting this from, is that the movie is going to be a musical or it's going to be a musical in some capacity. So Todd Phillips, who we know, is expected to return to direct. And he's been co-writing the script alongside with his other co-writer, Scott Silver, from the first movie. So it was also revealed to us last week the script you know we went into all this speculation about the two things that people were pointing out due to a uh, working title the fact that maybe we have harley quinn get introduced because it's madness for two or the other translation uh which led people to think about two jokers one being an imposter and then led a lot of people to re recon call or recall what willem dafoe had to say earlier in the year about his pitch for joker 2 and if he isn't somehow involved maybe they do a combination of both i'm just thinking about that maybe somehow there's a combination of both and i know a lot of people already have said it oh harley quinn that's um that's margot robbie i mean you can still have a different iteration of harley quinn i know a lot of people are still not necessarily sold on lady gaga as harley quinn just yet she's gonna have to do that herself through the performance we see coming out of joker 2 when if it happens if she stars in it if joaquin phoenix returns if they end up being a musical the whole musical thing i know some people are like oh please don't do that because of the fact that i guess a lot of people are just tired of certain musical things I don't necessarily get have a problem with them doing a musical as much as I would just rather prefer they do something else similar to what Joker, the original Joker was, uh, something a little dramatic, a little dark, something that's a character study for Harley Quinn and Arthur Fleck, seeing how they meet uh, and seeing, of course, if it's similar to what we know of how they met how she was manipulated by him, became his lover, you know, she went crazy, etc. Uh, or if they'll shake it up a bit for this iteration of Joker and Harley Quinn. Because if it is a musical, one thing I know is that I'm not going to be disappointed in Lady Gaga if she gets to do a lot of numbers in this movie. Given, of course, more recently, for those of you who recently saw Top Gun, uh, the most recent thing from her that has a lot of people saying, oh, she's going to get an Oscar is that song she did for Top Gun, which was a beautiful song. And she uh, she has a beautiful voice in general when it comes to just putting out music most of the time. Uh, so if she were to star in a musical, I'm curious how that's actually something. Yeah, I'm interested to see Joaquin Phoenix and her sharing a screen singing. Now, the whole musical stuff, I'm not saying it's something that's out of the realm of possibility to be done with the movie only because of course considering that that one montage we got or one sequence we got with the stairs and the dancing from the original movie which is one of my favorite scenes from that movie uh joaquin phoenix he's just he was brilliant as joker uh but i know some people again they're like okay i don't want to see a musical i'm thinking about me personally i'm thinking about once more feeling from buffy you know i just would prefer they don't do the musical if honestly it's something that ends up being poorly received if it ends up being poorly received then i'm going to come back and say okay maybe you, maybe you probably shouldn't have done that in the sense that okay because it didn't work out it if it didn't work out i'm going to probably see why it didn't work out and i'm going to say okay you probably should have done something different besides a musical but i'm not going to knock you for wanting to try something new at least you put out an effort and the effort just was poorly received so don't don't try to do that again unless you have a massive improvement in place for this horrible reception that you got for this musical joker that apparently is going to come we still don't know again that joaquin or harley quinn herself uh lady gaga i meant to say are going to be in this movie joaquin is just expected to be back because we know we saw him reading the script but as far as I know, both of those people are just in negotiations at this point. They haven't officially signed on. Joaquin isn't back as Joker officially. Lady Gaga isn't starring opposite him as Harley Quinn just yet. This is all an early report. 
and if they end up doing a musical i'm gonna need a trailer first to kind of see what this is gonna be like after it's done filming of course and maybe we of course just learn things along the way before filming starts to kind of ease our minds about this musical aspect because maybe the musical aspect isn't something like i'm when i'm thinking of musicals I think what most people are afraid of, let's say it's like an In the Heights movie where every other scene is a song. If it's like that, that might get tiresome, especially depending on how long the movie is. If it's like that, it's going to be like, OK, maybe you don't need to have this many songs in the movie. Uh, if it's done in a way in which you have a lot of downtime where the characters are at least getting to talk, there's a story being told. It's also got that drama and terror aspect to it. And then, you know, like maybe every... 20 minutes or so you have a a dance number a song something going on in the movie and there's your musical aspect of it as long as it's not something that's back to back to back like every two or five minutes then i think you will not lose your audience like that because i know a lot of people's complaints from what i was being told within the heights from people who would dm me talking about it was that this this was the movie was too much of a musical that complaint in and of itself honestly doesn't really make much sense because it's a musical but i guess what i could see coming from their from their perspective is that you had too many musical numbers in the sense that everything is a song and dance everything is a song and dance there was nobody necessarily doing a lot of just regular talking every chance they got song and dance song and dance song and dance i mean honestly if you're not into that type of stuff you probably don't want to watch too many musicals anyway um most musicals i see they are like that but i, I would love to see a joke joker movie tone it down a bit don't don't be like just your common musical movie have musical numbers but not back to back all the time like that as far as like harley quinn and lady gaga some people are getting already doubting her she's not signed on yet so she might not even be playing the character the character might actually end up falling through the cracks and not being the final product so we don't know all that stuff just yet if she ends up starring as harley quinn i look forward to seeing how they mesh her with joaquin phoenix joker if he decides to return as arthur fleck aka the joker i look forward to seeing what musical numbers she gets to put on display if it goes in the musical route and i look forward to seeing if she outshines joaquin as harley quinn if she can out crazy him <laughs> but let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there is a video in the description i have links to social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me see any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video